Hello and welcome to the section on layers. In this lesson, you're going to learn what layers are. And then in upcoming lessons, we're going to go over the 12 types of layers and three types of layer customizations. Now to me, layers are the most important tool in Photoshop. And the reason why is because they give you the flexibility and control to achieve your creative vision. So what exactly are layers? Well, layers allow you to stack different graphics or images, paint or other types of editing adjustments via those layers. And they provide a method by allowing you to creatively adjust your artwork. So again, without layers, we wouldn't be able to achieve what we can with them. Now, the other thing to know is layers are independent of each other. And another way to look at layers is to think of them as individual canvases. So each canvas or layer receives pixels that you add to it. So if I create a new layer or canvas and I apply paint to it, it's not going to affect any other layer above or below it. So if I now turn this layer off, we can see that the paint is gone and wasn't applied to the layers below it. But if I create a new layer and wish to add paint to it, but I end up choosing the wrong layer, then the paint will not be added to it. Instead, it's actually added to the layer that was selected. So it's important to make sure you have the layer you want to work on selected. So right now I'm probably going a little fast, but remember this is just an overview. And in this section and many more to come, we will be using layers a lot. So don't worry if this doesn't make a whole lot of sense yet. There's a lot to learn about layers and we're going to take each part of the layers one step at a time. Now this document that you're viewing right now that I'm working on has a list of all the different types of layers and how you can customize them. And this particular file is attached to this lesson. So if you want to play around with all the different types of layers, as you're watching the lessons in this section, you can go ahead and download this file from this particular lecture. So go ahead and download that if you would like to play with it and follow along at the same time. So before we get into all those different types of layers and customizations, let's first take a look at some options that we have inside of our layers panel. Now, if you don't have your panel visible, go up to window and select layers. You can also dock your layers panel to either side. And personally, I like to have mine over here on the left, but it's entirely up to you on where you would like to place it. So let's take a look at some of the options here inside of our layers panel. And if we take a look right here, there's a little icon in the upper right here. If you click on that, it's going to show you some options you have available for your layers. Now you can also go to any type of layer and right click on it to get another menu of options. And a lot of these are available over here as well, but I prefer just to right click and select my options from here. Now there is one option in here that I like to set up for my individual layers and that is this panel options down here. So go ahead and click on that. And from here you can increase or decrease the size of the thumbnail for your layer. So right now I have the largest thumbnail available. If I set this to the smallest, you'll notice that the thumbnail has now gotten smaller. I'm going to go ahead and put that back to the largest because I prefer to have the largest size available. So go ahead and set that to whatever you like. And then for these different options inside of this menu, we are going to explore most of these different options in future tutorials as we work on different types of projects. So we're not going to go into great detail about a lot of these right now. We'll work on that at a later time. Now up here at the top of our layers panel, we have an option to filter by the type of layer that we have in our document. So we have a bunch of different options. We can filter by a specific name. So if we know a name that we apply to a specific layer, we can search for it 
by typing in the name and then all the layers with that name will then be filtered and nothing else will be shown. So we can also turn that off by clicking on this little icon here to get back to the original or just delete out the name that you typed in there. And you can also filter by different types of layers as well through these options here. This option here is for blending modes, which is a type of customization that you can apply to your layers. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in this section. And there's an entire section all about blending modes that will be coming up as well to give you more information on how you can use these for your artwork. You can also adjust the opacity of your layers and you can adjust the fill of your layers as well. And at first they may seem to be doing the same thing, but they are actually quite different. And we'll go into more detail about how they are different in an upcoming lesson. We can also lock individual layers as well. And we have a lot of different options for locking. So the one that I use the most is lock all, which pretty much prevents you from deleting that specific layer or even moving it within the document itself. And it's very handy because if you have a lot of layers and you don't want to accidentally move anything, then locking that layer is very helpful. And then down here at the bottom of the panel, we have some additional options for our individual layers. We can link them, we can add special effects, we can add a layer mask, which is another type of layer. We can add some additional adjustments to our levels here to customize them. We can also group individual layers together and we can also create a new layer from this icon or if we want, we can actually delete the layers with this option here. Okay, before we move on, I just want to show you how you can interact with your layers themselves because you can adjust them, rearrange them, turn them on and off. And if you take a look right here, you can see what looks like a little eyeball icon. And if you click on it, it actually hides that particular layer. And then any layers that are visible underneath will show up and we can also turn those on and off as well. We can also rearrange the order in which the layers are stacked within the layers panel by clicking and dragging that layer to a new position. So once I move this up to the top, it's going to become visible because it's at the top and it's turned on. We can also rename our layers by double clicking on the name and giving it a new name. Okay, so that's it for the basics of layers and the layers panel. In the next lesson, we're gonna take a look at the 12 types of layers and how we can use each type of layer.